Hello, and welcome back to my video. In this video, we will be doing the eyelid thingy. Whereas, where, oh my god. So when the eye moves up or down or rotates up or down, the eyelids will move up and down, which makes it look more realistic. And it's good for animation and stuff or just general posing. Okay, let's get into it. So let's import your model, which in my case is going to be Raven. Do all your parenting and stuff. We don't need these bones. Get out of here. Okay, now that we have our head, we can go ahead and do the eyelid thingy. We can do this with regular models too, of course. With bodies. But I mean, let's keep it as a head for now. Okay, so what you want to do is create a few shape keys. Like, four of them. You can call them whatever you want, just make sure they relate to the upper part of the eyelid, the down, the down lid? The eyelid that's down here, up here and down here. So I'll name this lid up L. I meant L. Lid down L. Lid up R. Lid down R. Select your first shape key, go into edit mode and select, let's see, turn this thingy on, proportional editing, okay. And then go into this, this thing, oh my god, this thingy, connect it only, and then we're good to go. You select these two vertices, zoom out a bit, uh, press G, but make sure you scroll up with your mouse wheel because this proportional editing if you just keep it that way will deform the whole face so when you scroll up that will deform only this part i just realized raven has two separate eyelashes we don't want that get the fuck out of here okay now we'll select these two vertices and we'll move them up slightly about like that perfect you can also move this eyebrow up a bit not a lot because your eyebrow doesn't move a lot when you look up now you've done that and as you can see eye moves up beautiful do that with the eye down so you select the shape key that's lit down for me then we'll select any of these two vertices you can select them both if you want to and this one and pull that down just a tad, tad. awesome now do the same thing for the other side Select this one, this one, pull it up, grab the other key, select this one and this one, pull it down. Now one handy dandy thing with the upper lids you can do is just go ahead and set this range minimum to minus one. That will help you eventually. So minus one for this one as well. Then you'll go into this thing right here and if you want to you can just kind of match up these bones to the actual eyelids so if you want to do that select this thingy symmetry thingy and move the bone up a bit if you select this this other bone will move with it and then select this one and pull it down now we'll go in here and this might differ for other model models but it's probably likely going to be the x value rotation but just to be sure we'll check and one important thing though you need to parent these eyelids prior to this to the head head god damn it yes as you can see the value that moves up the most and is the most affected by this rotation is the x value so we will go into here right click it and copy as new driver so that's the x value then you can go out of pose mode go into object mode and then select the eye you just took the driver from uh, in my case the left eye and just kind of paste it paste it into the shape key right there now you can go into the shape key oh, in the driver that you just put on the shape shape key make it a scripted expression put it that x3 beautiful now you can go ahead and select or just copy the driver put it in this motherfucker 
and edit the driver to be minus two. Let's see if that worked. I would say that's a yes. Okay, now you can do the same thing for the right eye. Copy the X rotations driver from this eye, the R bone eye, R I bone, and go in here, paste it. Oh, no. Paste it right there. Copy it. Scripted expression X3. Copy that driver. Paste it in here. Edit it. Minus two. Now, if you want to move both both eyes at the same time, you can go ahead and select this, sele select them both, select this thingy, and put it to individual origins, and see the magic for yourself. Beautiful, isn't it? Oh my god! Alrighty, thanks for watching. I hope I'll see you in the next video, and till then. Bye.